Hi everyone, it's uh, Roxanne Durhodge, and today is a big day for most of us. It's the day that all our kids go back to school. And um, one thing that I can tell you that I hear often in my, in my psychotherapy practice is, you know, I'm, what do I do? I'm in this, let's say, teenage stage like I am, and what are some words of wisdom that you can give me? And what I often say to, um, based on what I see out there, uh, having dealt with a lot with uh, colleges and universities, and also seeing a lot of families over the years, is these are some things that I know work very well. And um, I work a lot with um, emotionally focused therapy, which helps couples and families uh, really kind of get connected. And I think for the most part, what happens is that most of us talk, but we don't really connect and I think that's the main thing so based on the concept of um, what we call attachment theory what what we know for a fact is the best thing that you can give your child is secure attachment so what is that you know you often hear you know am I coddling them am I you know not allowing them to evolve into who they need to be but the gift of time so what we know with attachment just like it's called um, securely attached children what they do is they really um, relish who they are and they become who they need to be. And that's really, if, if we think about self-esteem, confidence, all those th words that we hear out there in the world, the best gift that we can give as parents in the world to our children is um, to make them believe, and like I often say to my little guy, he's no longer a little guy, um, you are okay just the way you are. And that's what securely attached parenting is. Did I have it? Hell no. Um, like most of us out there, I, I, I've heard the stories or even with my friends and, and I know with my family that my parents did the best they did, but my, my parenting um, exposure as a child was, was less than ideal. They did the best they, they could with what they had. So as your kids go back to school, if they, as they leave to go to university or college, there'll be a lot of things that'll be coming up for them. And what I often say, and my analogy is to always try to be home base for your children. Try to kind of hear them, even though you may be thinking that's a poor choice. Even if you struggle with um, that for yourself, just to say, okay, <clears throat> how are you, you know, what do you need from me? And oftentimes, you know, when we think about needs, we, we often kind of shy away from emotional needs, but really at the end of the day, to be connected um, and the gift that we can give to our children and to others, not just our children, but our relationships, is to be securely attached to them. So to really hear them. And what I mean by that is to really understand, you know, how am I listening? How am I saying back to them what they're feeling? And um, asking them truly what they need from me. And in turn, giving, trying to give that as best as possible. That said, none of us are perfect. Um, and we could be tired, we could be stressed. Um, but at the end of the day, if, you know, if you're in that state, to come back to your child or your young adult and say, you know, uh, we need to get back to this. I'm, I'm, you know, I need some time. But what is it that you need from me? And those are some really, really good words to keep in mind. What is it that I can do for you? To help you through this do you need me to just listen do you need me to make some suggestions um, do you want me to um, kind of sit here and just reflect on what you're saying tell me what is it that you need so emotional responsiveness is key in parenting um, and then ideally thinking well what did i need as a child based on the age and stage that they were at um, that they're speaking to you and what were you exposed to and what would you have liked to be different. So you, so the gifts to our children, emotional responsiveness, um, look at them when you speak to them, disconnect from all um, you know other um, distractions, especially electronics in this day and age. Um, try to check in daily. And one thing you can often do, um, which is hard sometimes, is to say what was the best part of your day and what was the worst part of your day instead of getting one word answers. So emotional responsiveness, hear them where they are um, and hear their perspective. So listen to what they need from you and try your best um, to deliver that. Okay, take care. Uh, thanks for tuning in.